Hello and welcome to the first of our 2024 updated Common Body of Knowledge videos. Without further ado, we're just going to jump right into the first of many new topics that you'll need to be familiar with. The first is called an exposure estimate. This is basically giving a high or low label to the risk. The Common Body of Knowledge points this out for those of you who have little experience working in the risk management domain. Most of you with experience do this on a daily basis. You might say that a certain risk is high or a certain risk is low. An example of this could be insider threat. Think about whether or not your organization faces this risk and whether it's high or low. In order to estimate the exposure, you have to know generally what kind of risk it is and generally whether or not your organization is likely to encounter the risk. If not, the risk is low. In this case, if everyone works in the same room under strict supervision and all your systems have perfect logs that are monitored in real time and audited regularly, chances are you don't have any risk of insider threat or the risk is very low. Exposure factor isn't really new, but there is a term you should be familiar with called triply redundant. Exposure factor has to do with the amount of reduction to the asset's value or the amount of damage. So for example, an exposure factor of 0.33, one third or 33% would mean that the asset's value would be reduced by one third if a risk event were to occur. An exposure factor of one or 100% would indicate complete destruction of the asset. Here's where the term triply redundant comes in. If a system is triply redundant, that means that when a single node gets destroyed, only one third of the system will be impacted, not one third of the asset value. This could be important for an exam question, so be sure to pay attention to wording and make sure you understand exactly what's being destroyed when it comes to exposure factor. Exposure window refers to the time period that an asset or organization is exposed to the risk. Think of the soda you just had with lunch today. Once you open the can, it's at risk of going flat. In hot weather, you've got about 30 minutes to an hour to either put it in the fridge or drink the rest of it. Otherwise, it's going to turn into syrup. A better example might be if you have data in transit that sits on a server for one hour in plain text before it gets encrypted, or maybe it's decrypted and sits on a server and then gets re-encrypted at its destination. The exposure window in this case would be one hour. That's it for this lesson. I hope you learned something. If you're studying for the CISSP, I highly recommend you check out our website at cissprep.net. We have over a thousand questions and are still to this day considered to be the best practice exam bank available and our price is currently lower than any others out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.